Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my fish. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. Let me clear these cards really quick, Pisces, and then we'll get into what is going on with you guys. I hope you all are doing really well. I know it's been crazy, but hopefully moving into 2021 will be a little bit better, right? Let's be hopeful. Let's be hopeful. So let's see. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Some of you are coming out of a routine where things have been really complacent. And I think in the past readings, it's always been because you guys have overloaded your plate or trying to do too much. Some of you definitely are overachievers or workaholics, and it could be taking a toll on you and it could be taking a toll on your family. So it's always about finding balance for you guys. And I do have Pisces moon, so I completely understand it because I'm a workaholic. So I feel like for a few of us, there could be this situation of, you know, before you add something else to the plate, let's go ahead and deal with some things that need to be dealt with. So if you've been putting some things off, trying not to do them, I will say that the spirit is going to kind of start pushing it in the forefront where it's like, oh, okay, I got to deal with this. I got to handle it because if not, it's going to be that, that Achilles heel that keeps taking me back to something to the past. So if you have anything that needs to be completed, you need to go ahead and try to work on it because the spirit is going to bring it to life. I feel for some of you, you could be getting new jobs, new contracts that are coming in. Some of you, I feel like there's multiple um, opportunities coming in where you may be pulled in a lot of different directions where you could be working more than one job. You could be going to school and working. You could be going to school, working, taking care of your family. You could be going to school, working, taking care of your family and deciding to start a business. So there's a lot of things that keep building up for you guys. And I feel like you're either filling out paperwork or signing contracts to make this happen. Some of you be really careful of who you can Connect with. I keep getting this thing that not all money is good money, Pisces. So I'm not going to say don't take jobs, but I will say be mindful of the jobs that you are taking. Is it going to work for you? Is it going to be productive? Is it going to bring in the type of money that you need? Are these people going to be beneficial for your growth? So don't settle for anything because some of these people that you might be encountering are dealing with are not going to be your people. They're not your friend. I get a lot of opportunities, but I also get a lot of opportunist energy, which means, and this is a general read, this could be you taking advantage of people, or and I don't want to say taking advantage, but using people to help you move up, or people using you to help them move up. There's nothing wrong with it if you are 100% oh, you're on the same page. But if you feel like somebody's using you, and you're not getting anything reciprocated out of it, then you got a, a person who's just, they're draining you. Could be an energy vampire or somebody who's just riding your coattails. So I will say be very careful with that. And if you're a cross watcher and you're dealing with this energy with a Pisces, you might feel like they're um, um, riding your coattails. Some of you definitely are going to have some type of issue or conflict with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. I'm getting... Um, there may be something that started off with one person, and now there's multiple people involved with it. And it literally is he said, she said type of thing. This um, air sign could be trying to make you look crazy. Let me put it up here. Because they're pointing at you to have the scalpel up, which means that this person, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be very defensive when it comes to you, Pisces. So I do see that you're not alone. If you're dealing with an issue with somebody that is coming at you, we got a single person, air sign is singular, and then we have on your end, there's a lot of fire energy surrounding you, which means that this could be people that are very upset and they might be defending you. Now, I will say, be really careful. Um, there's a lot of chaos in this card, which means that you might have started a fight with somebody else and then somebody else got involved and then next thing you know there was a third party then a fourth party then a fifth party so we got a lot of people that are coming in we have an older male bless his heart that is literally trying to stop this fight so some of you may even have a voice of reason where somebody's saying okay look let's step back and do something a little bit differently because it may become very chaotic some of you could be dealing with somebody that definitely has some type of addiction issue. They could be an alcoholic, a drug addict, a gambler. Um, 
when you look at the devil, the devil deals with obsession and addictions. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign person who has some type of addiction. And if you look at this devil's face, I mean, you know, he's charismatic. He's smiling. He's like, look at me. You know, he could even be a handsome looking dude. But he does have other issues that are going on. And the one way street is showing you that this person doesn't follow rules at all. So you could be dealing with somebody who plays dirty and fights dirty Pisces. And some of you, there's an age difference between you and this devil. Ugh, let me get him. He's trying to fly out my hand. So some of you, there definitely could be an age difference between you and this devil, which means that you could be older, he could be younger, or he could be younger, or he could be older than you. I feel like what the cards is showing us an older male, younger female. So I try not to attach gender to the card, but get in where you fit in with this. Some of you could be having issues with an older male, and I'm getting a female who's very creative and childlike, so you may have even been taken advantage by somebody with addiction issues. So whether you're male or female, you may feel like you were taken advantage of by someone. So I will say there is some conflict that's coming out. The magician just flew out. So this person is shady. If you're dealing with somebody um, that is shady, has addiction issues, there may be other issues that are going on and spirit could be saying, don't go into business with this person, don't connect with this person, do not move forward with this person. Because with the magician, same thing like the devil, he's smiling, he looks charismatic, you know, if you saw him from a distance, you might not be worried about him. But he does have a knife on him and he has a snake at the bottom of his feet, which means that this person can be a little bit dangerous or they could be a little bit shady when it comes um, to the way that they deal with people. So Spirit is saying, if you're signing contracts, doing any type of work, making connections with somebody like this, be really careful because you could have some problems that come back and bite you in the ass with this person. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces spirit. Some of you may be getting, getting some repairs or some work done on a vehicle. Um, it may be necessary. A few of you may actually even be getting a new vehicle. I do feel like there are some moves that are going to be coming in. For some of you, this could be moving to a bigger place. For some, this may even be with your career or job. You could be moving from one department to another department. If you have a business, you could be growing from that space. It could be too small for you and you might be expanding or getting a different um, space Pisces. I do feel like there is a need for a vacation or some rest to come through for you guys because it looks like you're exhausted. <laughs> I saw a shadow. I was like, okay, what flew in my shit? We flew in my shit because I was like, we in Texas, you know, we eat mosquitoes and shit over here because next thing you know, you're drinking something that you didn't even know was in the goddamn glass. So I'm good. I'm good, you guys. Now, I definitely feel that there are adventures that are going to be coming in. Some of you are going to be finding yourself doing a lot of travel coming in towards the end of the year and moving into 2021. Some of this could be going to different events. Some of you are going to find yourself teaching at different events. Some of you are just going to literally be moving around because you're able to, which means that you could have friends or family in different places. Maybe after this year in quarantine, you're like, look, let me put some gas in my car and keep it moving. But I do feel there's a lot of start, stop, start, stop. For a few of you, this could be Uber, Lyft, truck drivers, or something that has to do with driving Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. I feel like there's something that's going to be coming to light for a few of you guys. Um, it possibly could be finding out something about someone that you didn't think or you maybe didn't know. This could also be something about you that people are discovering that they didn't know. Um, with the Ace of Blades card, I definitely feel like there is something that comes to the surface where people are looking at it with a, with a magnifying glass. This could be you doing this, maybe you're learning something new, you're exploring something new, or there's something that just comes out and you're like, oh my God, I gotta look at this deeper. For a few of you, oh wow, it's still going with the devil. So some of you may be finding out something about this devil. Something comes to light. Oh, and it could be a spiritual person. So some of you could be dealing with a spiritual teacher that comes to light. Hmm. Queen of Swords. Feeling like something was taken away from you 
and there's some depression, trying not to look at the problem, but there's conflict coming in. Okay, you guys, this is definitely a specific message for someone. Just because of the way the cards are coming out. We have conflict, you don't want to deal with the conflict, it's causing you to go into a depression. You feel like something was taken away from you, there were some lies, and it could have been with somebody who was very religious or spiritual that was a teacher, and something came out about this person, this devil, with a Pisces person. Some of you may even admire this person, you may have even looked up to them. So, I am so sorry if there's something that needs to come out. Some of you, I feel like there's legal action that's going to be going on with this, but I definitely feel like there's something with disappointment. So, this could be something that is very specific to someone. If it is, I apologize if it's triggering you, but it's something that Spirit is saying you're going to have to deal with. You want to put it to the side, but Spirit is saying it's not over yet, so you're going to have to deal with it in Pisces. I'm so sorry. So let's get into the cards and see if we get a different message. Because this keeps coming up. And I, I apologize. I may have to do a part two. The spirit is kind of taking over. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. General read, spirit. General read. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. General read, spirit. General read. All right. Let's see what we have. All right, we got two of cups. We have four of wands. We have ten of cups. Ten of coins, I'm sorry. We have ten of cups. We have knight of cups. We have eight of coins. We have seven of coins. We have temperance. We have Page of Wands, we have Queen of Coins, we have Six of Wands, we have Nine of Coins, we have Nine of Blades, Five of Cups, Six of Blades, and a final card, Queen, we have Page of Blades, Fool card, Knight of Blades and Ace of Coins. All right. I wanted to do a little bit. This may be a longer video because we kept kind of kind of coming up with the same message and it was starting to give me anxiety. And I don't know why, but it was. So we're definitely getting a different message now. Still kind of goes into that other message. So some of you definitely are going to be dealing with an air sign, legal situation, things that have to be dealt with because Spirit is saying it's not over. Now, Let's move into, we have two of cups and we have four of wands. Some of you may be finding out about a marriage. There may be even a reconnection or a reconciliation. Even though I don't see six of cups, I feel like some of you may be connecting with somebody from the past. There may have been something where there was a separation and now this person is coming back in. Some of you are going to be asking someone to marry you or there's talks about engagement, possibly moving in together. For a few of you, this is going to be the same sex. It could be two men, two females. This could even be a, um, a relationship where there's an age difference and a cultural difference that's coming in. But it's showing something that brings in stability. So if you are marrying someone, you're engaged, you're planning a wedding, it's showing that this relationship is bringing in some type of stability for you. For a few of you, I definitely feel like there could be some type of... Um, blended family that's going to be coming back in so some of you could be connecting with somebody who's of a different race or a different culture they could be of the same sex both of you could have children and you may be blending your children or your family together but it is showing that it looks like pisces your focus seems to be on stability coming into this month so some of you are going to be working towards either moving getting a bigger house making something a more of a commitment or moving towards a commitment with someone else now, if you've been struggling with money, we do have 10 of coins that are coming in. Normally, 10 of coins is showing, especially with this Christmas, this holiday thing, I feel like some of you are going to be having more um, financial upswing during the holidays. This could be, I'm getting December, January, February. So this could be income tax coming in. This could be a job opportunity coming in. This could be blending two incomes together. 
and there's more money. Some of you may even be starting a family business or connecting with people, and it doesn't have to be blood relatives, where you're starting some type of business or growing something that seems to be family-wise that brings in more money. Some of you could even be getting a job at a company, and the company feels like a family environment to you. Whatever it is, I feel like all your hard work is really moving towards stability. I need to have stability. I need to be able to take care of my kids. I need to have more money coming in. And it looks like it is going to come in for you guys. Some of you definitely are going back to school or you are going to school. You're continuing your education. It's showing that you're learning new things. For a few of you, you may be a jack of all trades, which means I can do a little bit of this. I can do a little bit of that. I do feel like whoever this is, they're very, very creative. They have the ability to put things together. Whether this is uh, woodwork or expansion with painting or um, building, I feel like some of you have that, that skill set and then you have some that definitely have book smarts. So we're getting two people. We have somebody who definitely has physical talents with it, when it comes to putting things out, decorating, pulling things together. And then we have somebody else who's going to school and it looks like they're expanding their knowledge. Now for a few of you, you're going to be sharing your knowledge with people, which means like I'm learning something, but I'm going to be teaching. So, and I saw this with Aquarius. So some of you definitely could be dealing with an Aquarian person. You could be going into business with an Aquarian person. You could be taking classes from this person, or you could be teaching them. But there is something with expanding your skill set. And some of you are going to be making money off of something that you know how to do. And it could be something that takes you um, out of your norm, but it is a skill set that you have. So whether this is woodworking, decorating, or um, you just have book knowledge, some of you are going to be sharing the skill with other people around you. Yes. Seven of coins is showing entrepreneurship. Some of you are going to be starting a business. Let me get that glare off of her. Some of you definitely are going to be starting a business. This could be a side hustle. Remember when I said that some of you may be pulled in a lot of different directions. Some of you with children or family are going to school and you're trying to also start a business. So there's going to be a lot on your plate. Now, when you look at this, this is literally about bringing money in. This is about bringing stability in. A lot of you are working towards bringing stability in for your family, which means that I'm not a workaholic because I ain't got nothing else to do. I'm a workaholic because I want my kids, my wife, my husband to have everything that they need. I want to have stability where I don't have to struggle or worry about it. And I'm going to use my skill set to make sure that this happens. Whatever it is, you are going to have other people that see this and look at this because we do have Ace of Coins coming in, a new job, a new opportunity that, that is going to be offered to you. Now, for some of you, this is going to be a leap of faith, which means it may be something different. A few of you, I feel like this is even career change, where you have something that is coming in, but you may be doing things that are not, I would say, on your path, which means that you could be drawn towards um, opportunities that are coming in, but they may be completely different than what you went to school for or what you studied for will not apply to everybody because some of you you are getting some things that are going to be opened up in your skill set but for a few of you with the fool card i feel like some of you are literally career change or doing something that is out of your comfort zone but it's something that you feel very strongly that you want to do and i do feel like this is going to be really productive because if i look at the page of wands this is news that's coming in that you're excited about. So some of you are like, okay, I didn't think I was going to get this job. I didn't think I was going to move in this direction. And all of a sudden, this phone call, this email, this letter comes in, and it's like, we want you. And we want you to go in this, you know, this particular direction, this job. And you're like, okay, all right, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm ready. But with the full card, it's showing you want to take this leap of faith because you know that it's going to be a new adventure for you. So some of you really are going on an adventure, and it looks like it brings in more money. Now, for a few that are working and overworking, you could be going on some type of vacation. Could be to the mountains, could be to the woods, could be camping. You know, wouldn't be my thing. Well, you know, I love outdoors. Um, you know, I would be glamping, though. So I would have a cabin with a hot tub, you know, with a TV, with, you know, close to the lake or something and preferably no snakes <laughs> but i don't know what is that on the ground by his foot is that a snake 
Oh my God, or is that a lizard? So some of you might be finding yourself outdoors on a new adventure, exploring or going somewhere where you're exploring. If not, this is really a quick message that's coming in about an adventure or something that should be really, really exciting to you that's moving you forward. So it shows that there's a lot of excitement with a new opportunity that is gonna come in. Now, some of you may be finding yourself where it makes you feel out of balance. Temperance card sometimes is about things not connecting. I will say, do not worry about it, Pisces, because it looks like that you have some things, like I said, to take care of. Once you do, you're gonna feel more balanced with yourself. Some of you definitely could be dealing with someone that is completely different than you. Where it's like, I don't get you, I don't know what you're trying to do. And I see a mediator, so some of you could even be dealing with someone that says, let me understand this person a little bit better. Some of you, even though I don't see the justice card, could be talking to a mediator where somebody is trying to make it, uh, make something balanced or make something move. If you look at this woman's face, she's disgusted with this person. This person may be uh, somebody that caused some type of pain or the energy may be off with this person. This could also be that she's like, we're different. I don't like you. I don't like what you stand for. I don't like who you are. Now, whether this is a male or female, some of you may be coming into this month and moving into December where it's like, look, I can't fuck with you no more. I don't know what, what I thought was going on. And it could be because of something that was discovered, something that came out. So it looks like we kind of go back into that situation where some of you are dealing with someone that literally is like, look, you're not who I thought you were. The situation is not what I thought it was and I don't want to do it anymore. For a few of you, take your time. If this is a job, don't feel like you need to jump on every opportunity that comes in. If it's not for you, it's not for you. If this is a person and everything inside of you is saying, I can't fuck with you no more, then walk away from that situation. Some of you could be stressing about this because this is somebody that is like taking sleeping pills. You know, they might even be drinking a little bit of wine. Um, they have a razor blade that's on their neck. And every time I see that, this is somebody who feels like they need protection. So some of you could be really stressed behind a situation or a person where you feel like I need to be protected or I need some type of shield up with this. So you could be dealing with a coworker, with a friend, with a family member where there's a little bit of stress and sleepless nights because there's decisions I feel like need to be made. Five of Cups is something definitely not working out the way that you wanted it to work out. Some of you are gonna be feeling some disappointment and you may be struggling with even overthinking it or not being able to sleep because of this disappointment. For a few of you, you have something that feels like a death or an ending. Some of you are gonna be closing a chapter with someone or an environment because it no longer works for you. It's like, I don't wanna deal with this anymore and I'm gonna grieve it and I'm gonna let it go. For a few, if this was a friend, family member, or a co-worker, you're literally saying, I don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm moving forward. I feel like there could have been some heaviness with this situation because we have the Six of Swords, which is somebody that is trying to move forward with their life, but they have baggage. And the baggage was on them, and they were trying to skate with this baggage, but it was cracking the ice, and they realized that whatever was in this backpack was causing issues for them. So they were like, you know what? I'm taking this off and I'm gonna leave it behind. So Pisces, some of you may have had to deal with a really heavy situation within the last month or a couple of months. Um, this could even be a year for some of you. But I see that you're taking off this baggage so that you can move around a little bit more smoothly. And we have the victory card on top of it, which means that literally this is what you need to do. You got people supporting and cheering you. So if you felt like you were going through a really difficult situation or heaviness, it's showing that you have the support of people around you. No matter what the stress is, you have people that are on your side, Pisces. So whether this is leaving a job, leaving a relationship, having to move somewhere else, or having to deal with a very difficult situation, it looks like that you're gonna end this cycle. You're taking this, this this um, heaviness off of you, this baggage, so that you can move forward towards victory. And some of you are definitely walking away from something that did not work out for you. You just, it's almost like I have to move forward. I do see that a lot of you are gonna be focusing more on business and it's because you may have been in a situation 
This card is literally somebody making people do something they don't want to do. If you look at this card, this person is cutting her bangs and she's not feeling it. And he's like, I don't care. I don't care if you're feeling it or not. You're going to do it. And it's, it's overstepping boundaries. So some of you are going to have to learn that when you're moving into next month, even this month, put your foot down with people. You have to start asserting yourself with people because some of you may be giving too, too many people the benefit of the doubt. Whether this is co-workers, friends, family, whatever, you're drawing a line in the sand and people are crossing it. Now, this is a night of blades. Could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And we saw that with the, was it Queen of Blades and then the Devil card. Some of you could be dealing with somebody who really is pushing boundaries with you. They're like, I don't care how you feel. I'm going to go ahead and do what I want to do, even if you don't like it. She's not seeing anything, but it's very clear on her face. I don't want this. I don't like this. So whether you are a male or female, if you have somebody that's pushing you out of your comfort zone, you have every right to put your foot down and say, hell fucking no, I'm not doing it. You're not running me. You're not bullying me. You're not bossing me. Because I feel like somebody is like, look, I'm going to get in my way. And you're Pisces. Pisces tend to be very sensitive, intuitive people, but you're not punks. So when it comes to standing on your on your own and standing your ground, do what you need to do, Pisces. Do what you do. They're going to be all right. You got victory in this. You have victory. You have fire energy behind you. So they may think you're weak, but you're not. You're not. You might have to come back and bite them in the ass and say, look, you know, you thought. But this ain't what you think, because that ain't how I am. So some of you, you're going to roll in this energy for a little bit longer. Well, you know, I don't want to cause any problems. I don't want to do anything that's going to cause problems. But if you get pushed, you got victory. You got support around you. You may end up showing somebody something that they didn't think. And that'll be good for them because they'll be bit in the ass. They didn't know it. But that's what happens when you push people to the point of no return. So I feel like some of you solo, starting your business, working on your business, focusing on you, trying to get your life together you could be pulling away from people and saying i'm just going to concentrate on what i would what i need to do some of you could be connecting with a taurus capricorn or virgo person could be giving you some type of business sense or helping you grow your business but i definitely see with this nine of coins that some of you are like look i'm focused on me i'm walking away from drama i'm trying to get my money right so i can live independently and have not have to depend on people and it's showing that there's a lot of growth that's going to come in for you, Pisces, which is really, really good because you're cutting ties with people that no longer serve you. They don't bring anything to your life, and it's because you're focused on your money and your stability. Even if there's love coming in, I feel like a lot of you are like, you know what? I care about you. I love you, but I got to take care of this first. So Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Any other messages for Pisces, Spirit? Any other messages for Pisces? Definitely with that ace of coins and that ten of coins, you got a job opportunities that have the potential to bring in good money. Some of you are going to be working more than one job, and it could be because you're trying to get money for Christmas, or you possibly could even be purchasing a home or a bigger apartment. But I do feel like you're focused on stability and growing your business or growing yourself. Let's see. First thing we have is disappointment and then healing. And we got good news coming in. We definitely have something that may have to do with a legal situation, but it looks like you get good news in this legal situation. If you are going to school, I am getting some stress and it could be because you have to take care of some things and go to school. Some of you, this is going to work, working more than one job and trying to go to school. I do see for a few of you, you got new loves coming in or a new love coming in um, and it could be another water sign Pisces Cancer Scorpio I will say be really really careful with this because spirit is saying some of you still have some healing that you need to do doesn't matter if it is right if this person is right for you they'll take the time and they'll let you get where you need to be but spirit is saying definitely take your time with love make sure you get to know this person before you move forward I do see blending in a family let me see if we have new jobs coming in. There is some traveling for spiritual growth. You could be connected with someone who's going to be traveling. You're showing as a very strong person, whether you're male or female, but you got to be careful that you're not dealing with immature energy, whether this is an immature male coming into your life or an immature female coming into your life. 
some of you are going to be dealing with somebody that still needs to grow up they still talk too much they still share too much so this is somebody who hasn't really i don't know what it is about them because i feel like they're of an age where they should be adults but they still have a kid energy to them so be really careful that you're not putting your business out with someone who's also putting your business out especially when it comes to a love relationship some of you if you find out about somebody sharing um, private things or cheating you're going to move forward you're going to move forward especially if it's immature energy some of you have options when it comes to love the spirit is like take your time take your time there are connections that are coming in some of you are disappointed by a past connection a few of you want a new connection but this person might be too immature and then it looks like there's another king or queen that's coming your way that has some maturity over you. This person could be older than you, but it is showing that they're also more set and stable. And that could be the person that you decide to blend your life in with. The spirit is saying, take your time because your plate is overloaded. Don't settle on anything that you don't want or you don't need. Okay, Pisces, love you. 